Many people are not aware that this building was built in 1936 during the WPA, and it's very important to preserve the history and to make our students aware of that history. The partnering between SFMOMA and the Arts Commission will mean to the faculty, the staff, and the students that they will become more aware of the artwork that we have here, the artists that painted it, and the history behind the school itself. Students came from George Washington to present the works of art at their school, and it was really wonderful to have them on a panel with, um, you know, uh, senior members of the Arts uh, Commission, um, people from the school board, um, uh, muralists who've been painting for years, uh, wall paintings conservator from the Getty. Um, so to have the students sitting up there on stage with us and to tell us about the works at their school was really important. Sergeant Johnson's an artist that is represented very well in this collection. He's an African-American artist who, during the 20s and 30s, produced an incredible body of work. The piece lines the uh, athletic fields at George Washington High is one of the most incredible works of art in this city, bar none. It's a huge, colossal, really, mural of relief sculpture, which is an incredible work. San Francisco's Civic Art Collection has been in existence since the turn of the century. It consists of everything from monuments in Golden Gate Park to monuments along Market Street uh, to other works in the collection from the WPA era, Coit Tower, the works here at George Washington High School. On the west side of the library, we have Ralph Stackpole's Contemporary Education, where he depicts some of the vocational arts that were taught at George Washington High School at the time. What's interesting in this particular piece is the artist's incorporation of some of the architectural elements two students working on a radio transmitter, and Stackpole used the speaker from the PA system as a part of the design. So on the opposite side of the library, we have a large fresco by Lucien LeBeau, which depicts the academic subjects that were taught at the time. And the piece serves as a foil to the other fresco located in the library in that you have academic subjects on one side, vocational subjects on the other, and the result is a concept of a well-rounded education. Additionally, what we plan to do is begin a docent program that our Academy of Hospitality and Tourism students will be a part of so that the students can share with other students, faculty, the neighborhood, and other people that want to come by and look at the artwork that we have. By working with the students at George Washington High School to develop a student-led docent program, we hope to raise awareness of the Civic Art Collection and foster um, future stewardship. The lobby mural which is the largest of the work in the building um, and is approximately 1,600 square feet, which is larger than any single mural in Quake Tower. That was um, painted by Victor Arnatoff, who actually was an apprentice to Diego Rivera and was instrumental in bringing Diego Rivera to the city. I think of WPA era artwork as being characterized by kind of a stylized robustness and kind of a pervasive occupation with the historical. In this panel, we have a depiction of George Washington instructing the move west. What's interesting about it is the image of what I'm assuming is Lewis and Clark here is in black and white. Um, something that's occurring in the future is painted as though it was in the past. Uh, the north panel depicts typical industries of the period, um, but what's interesting about it is, is the very obvious inclusion of um, slavery. During the 60s, late 60s and early 70s, a number of students were expressing unease around some of the themes in the murals. The students insisted that additional mural be placed in the school, one with a more positive and inclusive representation of the student body. In 1974, Dewey Crumpler completed three panels that were then placed in the lobby. Its panels depict Native and Latino, Asian American and African American heritage and culture. As you really go through and learn about the artwork and what the artist was thinking about, the history comes alive and that's the experience that we want to have for our students here. And I'd also like to see that they could share that with past alumni and of the community so that they can know the treasure that we have here in the school. Many people have the same experience that I did when I first walked into this building three years ago, being the new principal. The grandeur of these murals are fantastic. 
many of the students that have come to Washington come in and they're very, very proud of these murals. They come back and they say, we're so happy that they're still here and they're being preserved. To learn more about the city's civic art collection, visit sfartscommission.org 